In this video, I'm going to show you how to create typographic scales for your designs right in your browser. So let's begin. Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Adi Pordila, and today I want to briefly talk to you about type scales or typographic scales. Uh, why you should use them and how you can easily create them in your browser for free. Now, let's assume that you're working on a design project, either a website, a web app, uh, maybe a, a mobile app of some kind. Uh, at some point, you will have to define the font size that, that uh, you're going to use. So how do you do that? How do you pick the best font sizes? Well, you can certainly eyeball it and uh, you know play around with the different sizes until you find the right one or it can get a head start and keep things consistent by using a type scale a type scale is basically a list of font sizes uh, that are defined by using a base font size and a ratio and that ratio is also called a scale so it works very easily you, you start with the base font size, you multiply that with the ratio, and by doing that, you get the next font size. You take the new one, you multiply it with the same ratio, and you get the next one, and so on and so forth until you get the entire list of font sizes that uh, you're gonna have to use. Now, you can certainly do this manually, but um, actually some very smart people created some online tools that we can use uh, to get there much faster and today I want to show you one of these tools it's called type scale you can find it at type-scale.com and uh, to create your own scale you basically start with the base font size in my case it's 16 pixels you pick out your scale or your ratio and on the right side you will get all the font sizes that you need to use so as you can see we're starting with 16 pixels. We multiply that with 1.333 and we get the next one. We take this value, we multiply it by 1.333 or whatever ratio you chose and we get to the next one and the next and the next and the next. And you also get a preview right here showing you how that type scale works on, uh, on a text content which is very, very handy. Now here you have some additional options and I invite you to explore those yourself. You can change the fonts, the line height, the colors and uh, so on and so forth. But what I really like about this tool is that it gives me the font sizes in both rem and pixels. So I can use the rem values in CSS when I'm coding that design and I can use the pixel values in my design software when I'm actually creating that design. Now, you'll notice that when I'm choosing bigger and bigger scales or ratios, there is an increasing difference between each font size. So compare the differences between font size when I'm using this scale to when I'm using this scale, right? Dramatic difference. Now, some of these scales are predefined and you can see the ratio and the name of the scale right here, but it can also define your own custom value. Now, for any web-related project, I would recommend you stick with, uh, with these predefined scales. And for a typical website, you would go somewhere between the major third and maybe the perfect fifth or this augmented fourth, or at least this is uh, the range that I choose to use. But as I was saying, depending on the project, you might go for even bigger scales like uh, this uh, golden ratio. Now, using a, a type scale has a lot of advantages. First of all, you have a good starting point. You're you're not guessing anything when you're starting a new project because your, um, your list of font sizes is already defined for you. Second of all, another advantage is that you can maintain consistency uh, between pages. 
So let's say that you're creating a website with multiple pages and you're gonna use you know, this value for the H1, this for the H2, three, four, five, maybe this one for the body text, right? But if you're defining a type scale, then creating additional pages is very simple because you can just reference these values. You don't have to wonder, okay, what font size should I use for the main heading in this page? Well, if it's an H1, you're gonna use this value or this value, whatever uh, you have defined for yourself. Now, I've been using this tool for a long time when uh, creating my designs and um, it definitely helped me a lot. To give you an example, I have a landing page design here in Figma. This is a landing page for a fictional uh, finance app called Num, and I created this for a Skillshare class that I made. And if you're interested, you can find a link to that class in um, the video description. Now for this project, I used an 18 pixel base font size and a major third scale. And you will see that the font sizes that I use here, like 55, right, can be found in the type scale. I actually rounded this uh, up. Uh, another one that I use is 23. You can find it right here. Uh, what else? I'm using this one, 35. You can find it here. I'm using uh, 18 pixels for the buttons, right? As you can see in the inspector here. And I have that value as my base size. But at the same time, in some places, I kind of went outside the scale. For example, on the body text, I used 16 pixels instead of 18. And on some of these badges, I used 12 pixels instead of uh, 14. So, you know, don't be afraid to go off script, let's say a little bit. Uh, you can change a few values here and there. It's no big deal. As long as uh, those changes are not too dramatic, you should be just fine. If they are too, uh, too dramatic, then there's no point in using a scale anymore and you're going to lose that uh, that visual that nice visual hierarchy that you get with a type scale so use a type scale as a guideline and not necessarily a strict reference uh, that would be my advice for you and um, to create one go ahead and use uh, the tool that i showed you or just do a quick a quick uh, Google if you don't like that. I'm sure there are other tools out there, but I don't know of any other tools because um, this gives me everything I need so I didn't have to look elsewhere. But yeah, feel free to, to search for other tools if you feel the need to. And that's about it for this quick video. I wanted to, uh, to give you an idea of uh, what uh, you could use a typographic scale for and what it's, uh, why you should use it and also how uh, you can create one very easily. Thanks very much for watching. Please let me know down in the comments if you are using a type scale in your projects, uh, how you create your scales, uh, and also uh, give it a thumbs up if you liked the video and subscribe for more content like this. I'm Adi Pordula and until next time, take care. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the, uh, how you can cr easily uh, blah, blah, blah. Um, some other project like, uh, blah, blah, blah. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Blah, blah. <laughs>